It was my own resistance that fixed me up. Yeah, your resistance to my bills. Okay, now listen. If you think that I'm going to sit around here and spend Christmas Eve listening to you, you old quack! Quack! Oh. Let me tell you something! Why, Mr. Kennedy, if the doctor told you half the truth about your case... You sit down! Oh, 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 so that's it, huh? You're letting your wife in on your professional secrets, huh? You old pill peddler! Pill hey, peddler! Yes, yes. pill peddler! I'm going home and I'm never coming back here! Oh. Say, Doc! What? Can I depend on that? Oh. Yes! Yeah. me five bucks for it, it's only worth a dime. <laughs> but after the way that guy acted last night, I just haven't any more idea of taking it. Oh, that's no, Andy, you're just acting like a great big boy. Oh. You know, after all, there's no use of cutting off your face to spite your nose. Oh, I mean, you said nosing off your face, spiting off your... Uh, here, uh, take the medicine. I don't want to. Come on. I don't want to. Stick out your tongue. <laughs> no, more than that. Hurry up. Oh, oh now, Edgar. If you don't behave yourself, I'll give you some castor oil. Ah. <laughs> Here, take the box. <laughs> See, now that wasn't bad to take, was it? <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, you feel better already. <laughs> Something you ate, no doubt. Now, wait a minute. Now, Andrew, here, now, you just lie down here and be all comfortable, you know, until you get a chance to work. You know what the doctor said? You mustn't do anything to excite yourself. You'll feel better in just a few minutes. <laughs> I think it's just wonderful. I right, do you just take a nice rest. You know, the doctor said you mustn't let anything excite you. Something wrong? Yes. You sound like somebody was dying or something. So somebody is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, somebody we know? Yes. Well, oh, it's too bad, isn't it? Well, that's life for you. Here today and gone tomorrow. Looks like when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> it's not bad at that. Edgar, <laughs> you, you don't understand. Now quit playing, will you? But I'm quit not playing. playing, Edgar. I have. Look, somehow your your medicine got mixed up with that. chloride of mercury, a deadly poison. And if taken in the slightest amounts, cause agonizing death. Oh. 
I gave him nine. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, why don't somebody do something? You scared me. I'm going to die again. Let me die like this. Somebody do What's the matter, sis? Oh, brother, I, I made an awful mistake. I poisoned Edgar with your chemical. But, Florence, that's impossible. Oh, I... yes, and I know. I'm a murderess. What'll I do? I'm a Lucretia Borgia. Oh, baby, now, please, 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 darling. What's your fault? Say, can't, can't somebody do something to save me? I'm dying. Why don't you call a doctor, you big no, cunt? Doctor, this guy. Yes, Hello? Uh, hello. Just a bit, man. This is Mrs. Kennedy. You must come over right away. I tell you, Edgar's dying. If you don't hurry, it'll be too late. I'm sorry, Mrs. Kennedy, but you must realize that after last night, I can be of no further service to your husband. Oh, but it's terrible if you can only see the poor dear. He's turning green. <laughs> oh, you will come, Joe. That's big of you. Thank you so much. He's coming right over. I need to work. I'm so sick. Help me up to my room. Oh, oh Edgar, I'm Edgar. so sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, darling, look out, Edgar. Now, be careful, Edgar. Be careful. Look out. Hey, Doc, wait a minute. I've got something I want to tell you. Here's a laugh for you. Oh, oh, Eddie. Ah, uh, Mother, don't cut that string. Well, what does it matter now? And so the big lug thinks he's poisoned and dying. And if you want to get even for what he did to you last night, all you have to do is to make him believe it. Will you do it? Will I? <laughs> Lead me to him. Oh, Edgar, are you comfortable, darling? Oh, my poor angel, I'm so sorry about everything. Is that all right? Is that warm enough? Oh, I want to do everything I can for you, Edgar. Oh, doctor. Oh, I'm so glad you've come. I, I hope you're not too late. I, I poisoned Edgar. <laughs> oh, poor little Florence. She just made a little mistake. I gave it nine. My chloride of mercury tablet. Oh, it's all right now. Everything is going to be all right. Old man, how can I tell you? I'm afraid this is the end. Oh, no! Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 Say, Doc, isn't there something you can do? You can't let me go like this. Do something, Doctor, anything! I'm sorry, old man, but you have to know. All I can do is to make the going easier. <laughs> now listen, sis, don't get scared. He isn't really poisoned. Oh, brother, I know you're only saying that to make it easier for me, and I love you for it, but please not. Now I, I want to go back to my Edgar. Open your mouth. Open it up. Here, Edgar, I brought you a drink of water. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Oh, my angel. <laughs> Will it take long? I'm afraid not. <laughs> how, how will I know when the end is coming? Will it hurt? No, Ed. It's just like falling asleep. <laughs> You'll yawn a little, get a bit drowsy, and then the end is close. <laughs> oh, why don't you listen to me? Can't, uh, can't I even die in peace? Will somebody answer that telephone before I go? Say it! Brother, go ahead now, Edgar. 
Hello. Yes, Mrs. B. Van, he's here. I'll tell him right away. Oh, Doc, it's your wife. She said the Smith twins are arriving. Oh, Edgar, isn't nature wonderful? Twins are coming and you're going. That's... Yeah, it's a two-to-one shot. Oh. <laughs> well, if I don't see you again, goodbye. <laughs> you big stiff. Oh, Florence. Oh, Florence. Oh, Florence. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing with my cap and muffler and my new shotgun? Well, Ed, they don't use shotguns in the happy hunting grounds. Oh. Brother, uh, you always liked it, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Well, keep it. Cherish it. And someday... May I blow your head off? No, Edgar. No, Edgar. Hey, hey, what are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> I won't have to do that now. <laughs> oh, Edgar. Won't be long now. Oh, Edgar. But we have been happy, haven't we? Oh, yes, Edgar, dear. Do you remember the day I first met you? Mm -hmm. I <clears throat> packed your books home from school? <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget it. <laughs> remember the day that you were eating bananas and you threw one of the skins down on the sidewalk? <laughs> yeah, and you stepped on it. <laughs> and I went boom, boom, right there. <laughs> yeah, and you felt the thing you pulled me down with you. <laughs> Now the Pollyanna Cemetery offers its daily program of cheer. Edgar, oh, sweet, Edgar, sweet, don't you want? Edgar. In beautiful Pollyanna Cemetery, the glad cemetery, with joyous sunshine abounding and spreading its radiance of warmth to the beautiful birds and flowers. Beautiful. Beautiful boy. Oh. I birds. Oh, no, no, Edgar. No, Edgar, no, no. Don't go to sleep. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. And so we've given him the scare of his life. It'll teach him a lesson. Well, he needs it. I thought I was going to heaven. <laughs> He's handed me the best laugh I've had in years. Uh, no, give me the gun. Uh, uh. Give me the gun. No. Nothing doing. 
you said I could have it. Yes, you did, Edgar. Now, you mustn't be a ninja. Get over it. That's right. I did say that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I told you could have it. Thank you.